hello how are you all my beautiful viewers i hope you all are fine and doing well my name is tayyada fatma rizvi and i bring for you people the very interesting and informative videos of physics today our topic is about the mechanical waves and the type of mechanical waves have you people heard about the mechanical waves yes you people have heard it, uh, about it i think so so uh, before that we have stated about the mass attached to the spring and the simple pendulum today we are going to start with the mechanical waves and the type of mechanical waves okay so first of all we would study about the mechanical waves waves which require any medium for their propagation are known as the mechanical waves for example the water waves sound waves we wave produce on the spring and the strings so and for any type of wave the uh, medium is required like for example if we switch on the fan if we switch on the fan then the sound waves are also produced so for the uh, sound waves the medium is the air for the water waves the medium is water okay so waves produce on the string and the spring so the waves which require any medium for the propagation are known as the mechanical waves mechanical waves can be classified as the longitudinal or the transverse waves so there are the two types of mechanical waves one is the longitudinal waves and another is transverse waves so we would discuss about longitudinal waves that what are the longitudinal waves in longitudinal waves the particles of the medium move back and forth along the direction of the propagation of the wave so along the direction of the part, uh, propagation of waves the particles of the medium move back and forth it means that particles of the medium travel along the direction of the propagation of waves here we have taken the example of the spring or the sling which is attached to the spring board and the other end of the spring we have uh, taken by our hand we give it a, a huge jerk a series of compression and rearfection is produced in the uh, spring okay so you can see that uh, longitudinal waves can be produced on the spring place on the smooth floor or a long uh, bench fix one end of the spring with the rigid support and hold the other end in your hand now give it a regular push and pull in the direction of its length okay a series of disturbances is produced in the direction in the form of waves will travel move uh, moving along the length of the uh, slinky such a uh, wave consists of region known as the compression so the series of dis uh, disturbances is produced along the waves along the length of the slinky so the, when the waves uh, region come close together so such a wave region consists uh, of disturbance which is known as the um compression such a region is known as the compression when the waves come closer together when uh, where the loops of the spring are close together alternating with regions called rearfection where the coils are far apart so when the coil is close together when the coil waves are close together such a region is known as the uh, compression and at the region where the um, coil are far apart such a region is known as the rearfection in the region of compression particles of the medium are close together while the in the region of rear friction particles of the medium are far apart so the main theme of this experiment is that that the in case of compression the particles of medium are close together where in case of rear friction the particles of the medium are far apart but in both the cases the uh, particles of the medium which is the slinky uh, move along the direction of the waves such a wave is known as a longitudinal wave secondly we have to study about the transfer wave or that what is the transfer wave in case of the transfer waves the motion of the particles of the medium is perpendicular to the motion of the waves so the particles of the medium which is produced with our hand and we will um, perform the experiment further so the particles of the medium is perpendicular to the motion of the waves so let us perform the ex experiment of the transfer waves we can produce the transfer waves with the help of the slinky stretch one end of the slinky on along the smooth floor or a long bench with the fixed and grasp the other end of the slinky and move it up and down quickly so in this case of the transfer wave we have to move the slinky up and down quickly a wave in the form of alternative cross and truck will start traveling towards the fixed end so 
alternative cross end trough will travel towards the fixed end as you can see in case of uh, this figure that we push the slinky uh, fastly so the alternating cross end trough will, will travel up and down okay the cross are at the highest point while the troughs are, are at the lowest point of the medium from the mean position. So the cross are at the highest point and the trough are at the lowest point. The cross and uh, trough move perpendicular to the direction of the waves. So the uh, cross and trough are perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the waves. Waves on the surface of the water and light waves are the transfer waves. So today we have studied about the transfer waves and longitudinal waves and the mechanical waves. The transfer waves and the longitudinal waves are the types of the mechanical waves. We have performed the experiment of the slinky. We have studied that the in case of the longitudinal wave, the cross and trough move uh, to and fro along the direction of the propagation of the waves. Whereas in case of the transfer waves, the cross and troughs are perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of waves. I hope that you people enjoy the videos so like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much